All right, we're here uh, recording with um, Natalie Perry singing uh, uh, three songs tonight. Um, one is called True Love. The other one is called uh, Waiting. And then we got No Matter What that we recorded already, but we're going we're gonna to add another vocal on it. But we're here right now with uh, Kenny. He's a uh, producer. Um, he ar arranges things for different uh, projects, movie projects and stuff. And here he is. How you doing, Ken? I'm doing great. How are you? Yeah, good, good. <laughs> so so uh, what's uh, what's going on with you? We, we were talking about some of your projects that you're doing. Well, uh, nothing much. It's my first interview, but yeah. I kind of think uh, yeah. it's a good practice because who knows where I may end right, up that's one what day. I'm saying, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're doing a lot of creative things in the entertainment space for independent film producers, directors, actors who want to get more control and have more control over their creative art in the form of ownership. So we provide this vehicle or this business model that allows them to do that. And uh, we think it's special. I, I don't want to talk too much on yeah. on the camera about it, but someone who really has a project that they really want to get going, they should come see us. We can help them. We can show them strategically how to navigate the the film landscape right, okay. right. Wow. so how did you how did you get involved with all these different projects and uh what got you into the production end of it well i'm an accountant by trade so i started looking at the different types of industries that are recessionary proof right. and it seems like the film industry no matter what's going on with in the economy they seem to do very well. In fact, it's even better when the economy is not doing so well because people are looking for escapism. Right. So we started analyzing those films that actually after 2007 and 2008, how they did in the marketplace. And surprisingly, we noticed that a lot of films made a lot of money in those years when the economy was not doing so well. Right. The housing bubble and all those things, I guess, forced people to go look for some sort of escapism. So if you look at the numbers, they speak for themselves. Yes, yes. So I started analyzing that. I started reading about the industry, studying all the technical things that Hollywood did, mm -hmm. and I saw a lot of things in it that weren't really so good. Yeah. So I decided that I wanted to figure out a way to make it better for independent film producers. And uh, that's why I am. That's why I am. Well, you say independent, you in independently. Why is it um, better to go independent? It's not better or worse, it's mm -hmm. a choice. It's a choice between the, the person who has a creative mind and they want to have a little more control over their content. They choose where they want to go. They can choose to use the system that is available for them or they can try to do it themselves. And there's some challenges doing it yourself, yeah. but the rewards are there once you succeed. And if you analyze the market space today, there seems to be a lot of room for independence. And, yeah. and independent movie makers, uh, creative types who yeah. who want to do it, and they can. Well, it also is it's it's a lot less expensive, right, to to do an independent movie, or it's it's a little, you know, because these big budget movies are crazy, right? It's my opinion. Um, it's always been inexpensive. They just never told you. Oh no. No. <laughs> it's always been you know, inexpensive, yeah. They just never told you. Yeah. Um, so they've they found a way, I believe, to to create a system that allows them to do things within their space, within their ecosystem. And then it, it forced another ecosystem to s sort of try to survive, and that's the independent ecosystem, right. where there's producers, directors, actors, creative types that yeah. want to do things, but they couldn't fit in that system that has a lot of products sitting on the shelf that's earmarked already for distribution. Right, right. And so there's no room for you to get in there because what's already there has to have its ability to get a return on its investment. So yeah. the independent space allows you to to navigate around that waiting period, so to speak. Cool, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and, um, all right, so, you, so you've got a lot of projects going. Surprisingly, when we opened the doors, so to speak, mm -hmm. uh, we found ourselves flooded with creative types who found out about us yeah. and wanted to find out more about how we could do things. And so how, how could they? How could they get in touch with you? Um, or well, we have a website. Okay. We have a website, 
uh, www.zakat.com. That's Z I C A Q U E.com. And uh, it explains what we're looking for. Uh, we work with 12 major banks mm -hmm. that actually wow. offer debt financing as a possible solution for the project finance. And we actually have some inve equity investors who are looking to get involved but don't want to go 100% yeah. into the project. So we, we, we blend the two, uh -huh. and that's how we create the uniqueness for the producer to own a lot of the content as well. Oh, wow, cool. That sounds really good. So um, they could get in touch, like if they have a good good project or good idea of they could get in touch with you and uh, go from there right it'd you be, would it'd be nice if they had a little bit of a uh, understanding of the industry as well because yeah. we like to work with people who have the experience and understanding of what involved right. uh, it's not going to happen overnight yeah uh, it is a process process right. right the financial component of it is just one part of the process the creative process the distribution process, you know, those all... Yeah, well, it all has to come together. To come together. Mm -hmm. But the better the project or the better... Um, how would you know if the project is good or not? Like, how, how do you get it out there to see that? Or you know, There's great projects. You know, Hollywood has a lot of them sitting on the shelf. We yeah. know that. But it's the strategy and the execution of that strategy is how you win. And we believe that our strategy of helping with the finance puts them a little further into the game of winning at the exit where the distribution is available, the right. print and advertising money funds are available. So we, we, we help them strategize how to get their product into the marketplace so that the returns can be faster. Oh, I see, I see. So, yeah, yeah. so you not only take on the project or create the project, you also you do the the business end of it. That's correct. We, we, we like to call ourselves the strategic financial yeah. arm of the business. Strategy. It's basically all strategy. Yeah. Yeah. I guess the more uh, the, I guess the more the person has it together before they see you, it's good too. It's helpful. But we, our website yeah. explains the five things that we need to just get, to get started. Get started. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we're here with Ken and uh, if you want to get in touch with him, you got his website again. Give me your website. Yeah, our website is www.zakat.com. Z i c a c q u e dot com. All right, and we got Natalie Perry getting ready to do a recording. I already recorded True Love. Now I'm going to be doing Waiting in a different key. And we're still waiting. And we're still waiting. We're still waiting. Be, I'm doing no matter what over too. So yeah. All right. So see you soon. All right, we'll see you. Bye. All right, Ken, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right. Bye -bye.